Jane Esselson here with my mom, Anne, and we are going to continue with our Prevent and Reverse Heart Disease Cookbook videos here. We are working on making dressings today. If you're following along in our cookbook, it's on page 167 on. We got some crazy feedback from Amazon, or a comment on Amazon, when our book first came out, and someone said, they love the book, but there are too many dressings. But the thing is that everybody's <laughs> taste is different, and... Yes. If the key thing is to figure out some dressing that you like, that you love, and that you can use all the time. Yeah, whatever works the best. So is we what have tons is best. of ideas here. Yeah, well, um, so we're going to do three, three quick ones today, and um, again, they're all in the recipes or the dressing section of the book. I'm going to start with my quick one called three, two, one dressing. It's three tablespoons of balsamic vinegar. Here's our favorite kind. Three tablespoons balsamic. And what flavor is that one? This one happens to be black currant. And two tablespoons of mustard, any kind of mustard. Just open up the drawer or the door of your refrigerator, and I'm sure you've got like archives of mustard in there. And then one tablespoon of maple syrup. That's the sweetener we prefer to use. Um, we don't like to use sugar or honey and stuff. So three, two, one, there you go. That's the great foundation. And then to this, you can add horseradish, you can add garlic, you can add lemon, you can add lime. How is that? Is it all right? Oh, my, my lemon press. Lemon press. Can't find my lemon press. So I'll use my mom's reamer. I don't like the reamer as much as I like my lemon press. I love but. the reamer. And you know why? Because I don't have to really wash it. You'll see. <laughs> You'll see. See, you just go like that. And then you can even wipe you it. You've got seeds in my dressing. <laughs> Sorry. Actually, I think I got seeds in there, too. Yeah. Um, but anyway, there it is, three, two, one. And I love a little lemon in mine. And um, I think you got some lemon in the cameraman's eye, too. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it is good to go. It's got swing. It's got zing. It's awesome. Now, my dressing, on the other hand, uh, I try and avoid using... Um, maple syrup or sweeteners as much as possible. So I start out with a hummus. Now you can make your own hummus. I love the Engine 2 hummus, which has no oil and actually no tahini, which is excellent if you have heart disease. So I will just take some hummus and then I will take an orange. And here, here is an orange. What I've done is the orange that I actually had was kind of small. And I take a knife and I cut out the little sections, put them in, etc. And then I uh, cut them there. And if I really wanted to get the rest of this out fast, I could just take this reamer, reamer again and do this and get ton that out really quickly. And sometimes, believe it or not, I buy freshly squeezed orange juice, which is a no-no, but I might just be able to use it if no, I'm... No-no to drink. To you drink, mean. to drink, and to, to use it in making this. But I really like taking the whole orange. And then I will take some ginger. Love ginger. Now, you can use the uh, microplane. Oh, we have But I love this little way of grating ginger. And that is you take it and just grind it here like this. I, it's a special plate. In this little plate. And then it comes with this special little sort of, what do you call it? It's What's a that? brush. A little brush. And you can brush your, your whatever you want into here. Now I also, also plate. this plate's got texture to it. I also like to put in a little turmeric because turmeric is good to put in this any place This also will work can. if you want to grate your ginger. Yeah. But this also, this is a turmeric root. Turmeric is amazing for, for against infl to, to keep everything without any inflammation at all in your body. And so this too Ideally. is fun just to grate like this and to put a little bit of that in, in here. And then... I will put a little bit of mustard. Whoops! Everything's <laughs> falling. <Oops. laughs> oh. oh dear. 
So, and then you can add some, some balsamic or some vinegar of some kind. I like, I love the balsamic vinegars. Um, we got uh, long ago introduced to the olive tap, which um, has got a thousand different kinds of infused vinegars. Um, and the, the, if you can see these two, this one is a dark one, and this is a, a white vinegar, white balsamic vinegar. And if I want to keep this white, I would use this. And if I want to have it be a darker color, I would use this one. This happens to be black currant. This one is an orange white. So I'll put some of this in and you'll see that it will, it'll keep this uh, white color. And then mix it up. Now it takes no time. And even if you spill it as you're making it, it is still delicious. And uh, if That's you it. tapped into and my I parents. Love, and I love these little little bits of orange that are in this. If you tapped into my parents, like you, like a, you tap into a maple tree to get some syrup, running out of their bodies would be this dressing. They make it every night. It's what works for them. But it's, it's different what they every use. night because it's a different mustard, a different vinegar. It's, it's, but this is the same, um, same general and ingredients And if I don't have night. an orange, I might use the, a, a lemon or a grapefruit or a water. All right, some people don't love vinegar as much as the acid queen here loves her vinegar and her lemons and her limes. But um, we have a dressing that doesn't have any vinegar in it that we love, and it is made of oat milk, mustard, um, and this, oh, this is called the sweet hot mustard dressing and dip. And it's sweet with a little bit of maple syrup. My mom and dad don't like to use maple syrup as, uh, as a regular thing. And here's maple syrup. And it's got some cayenne for the heat. And the original recipe for this dressing had two tablespoons of cayenne. I reduced it down to half a teaspoon of cayenne and it still is hot. flaming hot. But it's balanced out with the sort of the, the smoothness of the oat milk and the sweet of the maple syrup and the mustards just got a nice little zing to it. Um, so, but this, oftentimes at our immersions that we do with Engine 2, this dressing is usually the one we have to keep remaking because people just love it. And the, so the, the official names of these, of these dressings are Jane's Favorite 321, Anne and Essie's favorite dressing was the one Anne made, and this is sweet hot mustard dressing and dip. So uh, I hope you have fun making recipes that work for you and use them. And so many of my husband's patients actually love some of these really, when you discover the, the deliciousness of some of these balsamic vinegars, they use just the vinegars alone on their salads. Okay, thank you for watching this video about making dressings with no oil. We have the official names of our dressings, which are 321, Jane's favorite 321, Anne and Essie's favorite, and sweet hot mustard dressing and dip. These are great to use not only on salads, but also... You could put them on rice. On top, yes, plain rice, rice, plain quinoa, any of your grains on top of greens. This is great sometimes to actually dress up your greens so you can get them going, get them in. And... You can even use some of these things to dip your sandwich in if you want your sandwich to have a little more shazam to it. Any of them are, are great. And there's many more in our book. And please invent your own. We'd love to hear about it. Comments below. Subscribe above. Thanks so much for joining us. Happy dressing. Bye. Bye.